Hi guys, it's Tamara from Etc. Eyes, and it is that time of year again where it's getting a little chilly outside and um, time to pull out our spool knitters. Um, for those of the, us who don't know how to knit, this is how you can knit. Um, and today we're going to make something really easy and basic just to get us started back into the whole um, feel of knitting. Um, we're going to make some I call them boot socks. Uh, I don't know. They're like little mini leg warmers and um, they just peek out the top of your boots and um, they're fashionable. I mean, just go on Pinterest and you'll see them everywhere. Um, but they don't add a lot of bulk inside of your boot um, and they keep your little calves toasty warm. Um, so this looks really simple and you're probably thinking, oh brother, another little tube. But you know what? There's a couple different things we can do with this little tube. Um, you can make your boot sock or I was thinking if you wanted to and you just want to add like another little stitch in here, you can make fingerless gloves if you wanted to, which are great for texting and all that kind of thing. Um, or what I'm thinking of doing, um, not for me, but for my knees, is making this tube a little bit longer, maybe like double the length, and um, making them full on leg warmers, uh, which are also, believe it or not, back in style. So, <laughs> so lots of little things, lots of things you can do with this little thing. Um, and all you need is some wool, your spool knitter, and some scissors, and that's it. Um, so, for those of you who have um, been faithfully following Etc. Eyes for uh, since the beginning, we made spool knitters uh, a couple of years ago now um, out of ice cream pails, um, the big ice cream pails. And you can still use that one uh, because we're not going to do a full tube, we're just going to do a flat piece. So you can still use that one if you want, or you can um, make a smaller one sort of around this size. Um, I don't know, I guess you could get a smaller ice cream pail and you still get to eat the ice cream. Or uh, maybe like a large um, yogurt or sour cream container or something like that you could use. And um, if you, I'll put links where, you know, if you're on the blog, there's lots of links to, to um, the po post on how to make your own spool knitter and if you're watching this on YouTube um, I will put a link somewhere either here or down below or somewhere you'll find it um, so it's really super super easy to make your own spool knitter but lots of people um, there are lots of versions of this out there now I think even Martha Stewart has her own version of a, a spool knitter out there now so um, but also on my blog you can find um, if you're new to spool knitting you can find how to cast on and how to cast off, of course, and uh, how to do some basic stitches and some little tips and tricks. So I'll put all the links somewhere and you can find them and, um, and then you can knit along with us. So you can see my little tube here. It's quite small. That's because I have pretty scrawny legs, so <laughs> which is nothing to uh, be too proud about. But um, so I measured my legs. My calf at the top of my calf, where my boots would cut off, I measure about twelve and a half inches. Um, so it's about like that, and that's about thirty and a half centimeters for the rest of us who are in metric. Um, so I am using 18 stitches around. Now, I'm going to guess that most people have uh, larger normal size calves. <laughs> so um, for every, I would say every half inch to inch that your calf is um, bigger, wider than mine, um, I would add probably another two teeth to this um, because you don't want this really really tight so that you can't get it over your heel um, you need a little bit of give to to the wool so that you can get on and maybe even scrunch it down a bit um, mine fits my calf pretty perfectly and it, it does stretch out a little bit um, so like I said make yours to fit your calf and you might have to play with it a little bit and um, you know I even had to make one and 
take it apart and start over again and it really like I've said before it just takes minutes so it's it's not a big deal if you do have to start over again okay so you can see I've already started because I just wanted to show you we're just doing the basic stitch nothing fancy today we're just getting started again so um, and you can see I didn't loop it all the way around I I started here went around stopped here came back this way and just kept going like that I hope I didn't make, just make you dizzy there <laughs> um, and it's just a very very basic stitch um, so again go to the links find out how to do the basic stitch um, so I'm going to do I'm going to finish this up and then I'm going to show you what it looks like at the end um, because it's it doesn't end up like this we need to do a little bit of extra st stitches at the end um, and I'm going to do about I think I think this is 25 rows approximately um, and uh, so again you make yours according to uh, if now again I'm also kind of short so so I don't need great big long ones if you are blessed with lovely long um, calves you might need to make yours 30 rows instead um, if your legs are a little bit shorter maybe you want to make it only um, 20 rows or you know you make it to suit your style um, and I should also just show you the wool I got it's just a very um, basic sort of a little bit fluffy uh, but it's not like a great big fat nubby wool or anything like that so I'm gonna go do some spool knitting and I'll be back to show you um, the rest see you in a bit okay. I have made my um, little piece while watching an episode of Project Runway and Coronation Street. So <laughs> that just tells you how much concentration you have to have to make this. So I'm about to cast off and before I do that I just wanted to show you um, you know when you're um, measuring how much wool you need to cast off you just go around and that would be normally whoops I should do that in the camera <laughs> around and that would normally be where I would cut it but what I want you to do on this one is make your tail extra long and this might be a little bit too long but it's better to have a little bit longer than um, shorter because we're going to use this to um, stitch the ends together okay so I'll, um, I'll cast off and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to stitch it together okay guys I've cast it off and um, is that how you say that? I cast it off? Anyways, uh, I got my little flat piece here but I want to make it into a tube, right? So I've got my long tail and you don't even need a needle or anything for this. You just find a hole on the edge and with your fingers just pull the wool through. Couldn't be easier and you just continue to stitch right along that edge coming up the inside like that and back through again and then you just keep going whoops until you've got it right down to the other bottom edge there and then, um, oh, that's a little tight, but I'm going to open that up a little bit, basically. You'll have a nice little tube like that. Okay, that's it. Thanks, guys, and um, happy spoon knitting, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye!